on today's video this is week two of light and darkness but we need to wrap up week one this video is everything you need to know about week one the things that happened how fast this event is moving how the twilight went as well as start talking about week two the brand new light and darkness event what is it this week how it works all that good stuff in this video we're gonna keep up this coverage of light and darkness to have all the available content for you guys whenever you hit your light and darkness so sit back drop a like on the video if you haven't yet hit the subscribe button down below and the bell next to it of course Hey there YouTube, welcome back to Gecko Gaming. Today, it's week two. Man, oh man, it's been a, a little while now. We've been in this Lost Kingdom light and darkness for about a week now, more than a week, but give or take. Here's the thing, a lot's changed. It's actually pretty cool. And in this video, we're gonna start off by going over the Twilight, then a little bit of Past Glory light and darkness event, talk about that a little bit, show you the map, how it looks like, and all that good stuff right now. If you haven't yet though, make sure you drop a like on the video and if you like Rise of Kingdoms content, of course, we're talking light and darkness, following it up and keeping you guys up to date with everything you need to know. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Where's content content creator by Rise of Kingdoms? Now we can get started. So, Twilight, we've hit pilgrimage. That is right, we've hit pilgrimage within one week. The uh, level four passes opened up, the Hierons opened up, the, uh, the, the level five, 50, level six barbarian forts went down from, I think it was 100. Uh, everything got cut down. Uh, we're seeing about a gap of two days in between each uh, one of these. So every one of these chapters is about two days. There isn't any more of these four, six day long chronicle thingies going on. It, the, the event is advancing at a really rapid pace. As you guys saw now, level four passes are already open. And with all that being said, I should have probably dropped the lines, but not the biggest of deal. Um, you can see right there, bam, party over, go home in here. These guys are building pink guys this way. The blue folks are out this way. We can see now everybody's out in their zone five and it's kind of as predicted, like half and half for everybody, except that Curiously enough, we're actually seeing that some teams have, obviously there are only three passes, so how do two kingdoms get through? It's one and one, and then what happens here? Uh, we're gonna be seeing either things like this, where one kingdom picks up two, or and the other one picks up one, or we'll see a setup where they share the middle pass in some shape or form. I'm assuming these guys might end up sharing it up in, in some shape, these flags might not be here, but we'll see how that goes. But anyway, Hierons are out. We got those. The level four passes are there. If you haven't seen it before, in the description down below, you have my Discord. And when you go to the game access channel, hit the swords to get the Rise of Kingdoms access. There is a Lost Kingdom chat channel with a bunch of information. All the information you need to know about the buildings, which troops there are in the buildings, their abilities, um, what types of troops there are, how many there are, all that good stuff is in that channel. I haven't seen that many changes, but I haven't finished comparing every single building and every single report. Massive shout out to 279 for sending me all the scout reports and rally reports of the buildings. I appreciate that very much. We're gonna make sure that the Lost Kingdom channel is up to date with all that information for you guys. So with all this being said, the event is moving quite fast and I'm not entirely sure that's a bad thing. No action yet, no talking about fighting yet. Uh, the next, I'm assuming the next couple of Chronicles will really determine that once this finally opens up, the next thing would be Ancient Ruins and that's really where the fight will begin. If I were to estimate, I would probably say that within the next two to three days, this will be open and clashes will begin, so expect that content later this week or early next week. But yeah, things are moving quite quickly. Here's the deal. Honor, really quickly, hasn't been growing as crazy as it did in the beginning. And I have been hearing of crazier things. I feel like there is some sort of exploit that we might not be aware of. If you guys watched the stream where I showed you guys uh, this screenshot of someone who has, um, chaining 
gem nodes and getting more and more coins out of each node as he gemmed through it. Uh, Lilith came back to me with an answer about that and told me that it's a visual bug. It shouldn't have affected anything. So if any of you disagree that it's not a visual bug and you saw a lot of coins, let me know in the comments or in Discord, send me a message with a screenshot. But Honor has been moving quite well. 164,000 within a week is unreasonably crazy based on Last Lost Kingdom. But in here, these guys kind of stabilized around uh, top 20, I believe is of about 120,000. Other than that, same old, same old. These guys keep hunting down barbarians and gathering primarily to get themselves Sol uh, Soluna coins so they can uh, donate it in here and get more individual Honor points. In the past glory, over the weekend, we saw something cool. First and foremost, of course, bam, this got built. Cool stuff. We actually gave up all of our uh, non-epic commanders. And I'm pretty confident I'm going to get rid of, of a bunch of these as well. Just to kind of pick up the, um, the legendary commander sculptures. Never really going to use this account much, but why not? It's a good trade regardless. I think I'm going to trade a bunch of the sculptures anyway to get some of these. But light versus darkness had an interesting thing because as I showed you guys, Light and Darkness was four days long, stage one, but then for two days, it just went away. And so what we thought was happening is completely wrong. Every single one of these stages, it looks like is an independent sort of event in which essentially each stage, Light and Darkness compete. And at the end of this, either side will get the rewards for that specific stage. So now we're talking about one legendary commander sculpture and one and, and two ep legendary material pick em chests. I mean, if that's each stage, that's a total of five legendary commander sculptures and 10 of these for first place for the winning, for rank one in winning camp. Uh, rank one in losing camp can still get one of these, which is actually fairly good. And so I, I don't think this is, a bad event. I just thought this was for the long term and it looks like stages, each stage has its own thing. I don't really see whether, where are the rewards for which side wins overall. I don't know if there is a thing about which side wins overall, but stage two is all about speed ups. All you gotta do is use a ton of speed ups and for every minute worth of speed ups, you get points. That's pretty much it. And the, you're duking it out for the, uh, the winning side, essentially. The thing that is good about this is that you get a ton of these Saluna coins. Once again, there is like, there's a lot more on this time. This is 22, 30, 36, 40, 4200 coins, which can get you uh, at least 4200 honor with crits possibilities are endless, right? And so, I mean, Man, this is actually not bad. I mean, again, you need to get 25,000 minutes worth of usage. 25,000 minutes is about one day is 1440 minutes. So 10 days is 14, 20 days would be 28. 16, 17 days worth of, of speed ups. So if you train tier fours, full sets, uh, that would be like six sets or something like that. Something around that five sets, six sets. Is it worth it? If you're doing Mightiest Governor in that week, or if there's an event where you're pushing for it and you get a double up, like for example, using speed ups around this week, you can end up with uh, this done as well. Where is it? Mighty, uh, Mighty Army for training and from the ground up use minutes. So you combine those two and it starts becoming an interesting uh, thing to do. And yeah, it's a four day thing with different with every time with different uh, missions. And that's that pretty cool stuff. So far, I'm liking what I'm seeing out of the uh, things that change every week in uh, in light and darkness. It's a much faster pace event. I can tell you that I was was not able to even I did not even know like I've been on this account every single day, keeping up on things. And I didn't even notice that all of a sudden there's a 12 hour clock on the pass. And next thing you know, it's open. And, and I'm like, I was at work. I came back. This was already taken. I'm like, how did this happen? So I'm liking the pace of the event. 
However, the fact that there's still no warring happening is a huge problem. Uh, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think so far I'm seeing more improvements. I'm seeing zone four opening up the zone five much faster. Zone five pretty much opening up and getting ready for zone six much, much, much faster. And with all this being said, you do continually keep the players coming back every day for something new, but there is still no fighting happening whatsoever. As you can see, these guys are prepping for the fight that's gonna come this way, but we're gonna have to see how this works out. For now, I'm very much enjoying to see how quickly the event is going. I'm also enjoying the fact that people are very capable of getting their individual honor points to that max number quite easily. A few of you misunderstood what I said about about the uh, rewards being lowered down or uh, making or essentially making the points easier so that getting to 200,000 easier. A lot of you think that what I meant by that is that I dislike the fact that it's easier to get it done and that's not at all the point. The point is when it was 135,000 that were hard to get I actually put myself in a situation where I had to, to grind to get it done. And now it's like, it, it, there is, there's less of a grind to happen. I don't care of, uh, if it's easier or harder per se. What I'm looking for is a little bit more of a, something that'll keep me in the game, that'll keep me busy with, with the game. If I know I can hit 220, 155,000 in, you know, a week, two weeks worth of event by just playing the event, by just doing the regular spending speed ups, hunt my barbarians and all that. And I can get here within two weeks. After the fights are done, what's my point in being in Lost Kingdom? What, what's happening? And so I don't dislike the fact that it's easier. I dislike the fact that there is no, if it's easier to get here, there should be harder levels for those who want to go harder. There should always, it shouldn't be easy to max out the event at any point. If it's easy to max out the event, the event is clearly too easy. The idea is that people, not everybody should be able to finish an event. And while 135,000 points the way it was previously was definitely difficult and definitely expensive, this in my opinion is a bit too easy. Something along the way has to happen or add more rewards, add more tiers, make it so that people will want to go above 155,000. Beyond, of course, the awesome skin that uh, is coming up in this Lost Kingdom, which is very, very exciting. A 10% archer attack skin. I like it. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this so far. This is a quick, quick recap, really, on what happened in the last week of um, Light and Darkness. If you guys didn't have comments, questions, suggestions, anything, down below in the comments. That's where the place to put to leave them. One final thought here for you guys is it's interesting that so far I'm seeing Grace of Saluna of a couple of the alliances of both sides and it, of both camps and all that. And it's looking really, really interesting uh, the way different researches are, uh, buffs are being prioritized. We're gonna talk about all that in a coming video. Uh, there are a few things that I still need to figure out like if there are any limitations, any uh, skills that require other skills and all that along the way. So I can give you guys all that information in that video, but it's really cool to start seeing uh, the different strategies people are employing to get through these. Uh, I have seen three different ways that people are building up their, their skills and all three serve a purpose, which is kind of cool. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy light and darkness and you keep up with the coverage by dropping a like on this video and subscribing to the channel. I'll see you guys soon rather than later. Thank you for all your continuous support and take care. Peace.